<laughs> Leslie says, yeah. how do you manage difficult situations patients bring up at the end of a session? I mentioned actually my patient mm. getting the stuff that they brought up, maybe not difficult, but questions earlier mm. in the session. That's my technique. Um, but my emotional patients seem to get me in those last few minutes. That's mm. kind of what I'm saying. But yeah, what, what, how, do, how do we yeah. cover that? How do we improve on that? So to avoid by, that conundrum yeah, at the last minute. Using the, the practice to help you stay grounded and present. And again, you know, I use the word powerful again. You know, people come back to me and report how powerful it is. Mm. Because if you start to feel stress, mm -hmm. which can transfer from the patient to you, mm -hmm. then that does actually impair cognitive, ex executive mm -hmm. functioning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because it becomes harder to mm. think clearly. Mm. Mm. So if you can stay grounded and stay present and keep your sympathetic nervous system actually mm -hmm. switched So if you're off. starting to feel though, you're being mm. triggered, I think you've mm. used the word, yeah. uh, and that might be happening with that person who's yeah. at the very end of the session yeah. being even more emotional and perhaps even trying to extend, oh, I say extend their session, yeah. but overstay yeah. their session length, which then becomes hard to handle yeah. and stressful. So that's a good moment. You can bring in a three-step breathing space Right. Of just on the, on the spot that you can do it anywhere and just literally feel your feet on the floor. Mm. Just connect briefly with your anchor very quick. Mm. Just ground yourself, settle. Notice what works best for you in mm -hmm. terms of for some people it's feet on the floor, some people it's the hands, mm -hmm. some people it's sound. Just for the briefest, just bringing you back mm -hmm. um, can but, just help you respond. Right, but is there a way perhaps of getting that patient, building the collaboration, starting off the process of talking about the tough stuff? earlier because you know it's coming or you can feel it maybe or maybe not yeah i guess that's the i would think you might know more than me on this but well um, it's just i've been doing i've been an osteopath for a long time exactly so if you start to detect something <laughs> yeah. might end up getting into a bit of a minefield or difficult yeah. or hard to handle it might be start talking about it as early as possible in the session so you've got the whole yeah. session while you're treating or while you're examining to chat through that's what so I, do you have questions treated. ready that you know that might open them into bringing in the difficulty well, I think, you know, I think sometimes they subtly give it away, yeah. you know, or, or you can tell even the speed they're talking at. Yes. You know, if they've rushed or they're trying to get yeah. it all out in their anxiety. Yeah. And I said, we've got to slow this down. And I do try. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe there are some techniques I could learn that, yeah. that, uh, to, to improve that. But I realise yeah. that I'm not going to be able to process what they're telling me quick enough mm. in the way it's coming out. Mm. And it might be because of their frustration and maybe put a few words together to say, mm. are you feeling perhaps a little stressed at the moment and they'll tell yeah. you the whole thing well this morning was a nightmare because yeah. and it kind of helps just to let them calm yeah. sometimes but well it can happen without saying anything in terms of if you practice mindfulness and develop your practice mm -hmm. and this is a mm -hmm. really important part of Good. it yeah, yeah. that you know not wait for that moment but it strengthens and actually you know the neuroscience is fascinating showing changes in the brain through neuroplasticity mm -hmm. that it becomes a stronger skill that you're better able to transfer your calm presence and calm the patient without saying anything. Right, okay, well that's, that's something I need to work on, thank you.